Fox News alert on new developments in the case of a sitting U.S. senator who says he was detained by airport security. Welcome to a new hour of America Live, everyone. I'm Megyn Kelly. Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul upset today after being held up by the TSA at the airport in Nashville, Tennessee, saying screeners claimed to have found an irregularity during his full body scan that we all go through when we go through the magnetometer. So they demanded a pat down. He refused. Things went downhill from there, with even the White House weighing in. I think uh, it is absolutely essential that we uh, take the necessary actions to ensure that air travel is safe, and I believe that's what TSA uh, is tasked with doing. Senator Rand Paul joins us live right now. Senator, thank you so much for being here with us. So you went through the magnetometer, the alarm went off, and they said, we want to give you a pat down. You said no because you'd already shown them your knee, which they said was the problem. Nothing was there. What happened next? Well, I sort of offered to show them my knee. In fact, I did show them my knee, pulled up my pants leg, pulled down my sock. And uh, they said they needed to do a pat down. And I said, well, last week I had a similar problem and I just got to walk through the scanner again. Do you think I could do that? And they were very resistant to that. In fact, uh, I spoke to several managers and nobody seemed to have any discretion or ability to make decisions. And so then I was detained uh, in a cubicle and not allowed to leave a certain area for a, an extended period of time. During that period of time, I did get my phone from my bag to call my office to say that I was going to miss a big speech here in Washington. And I was informed at that time that because I touched my phone, I was now subject to a full body search. Which you also declined, I understand. I wasn't real excited about being threatened because I was using my phone that I needed to have a full body search. I really think all Americans that travel, rather than have to do a pat down search and these invasive searches, if the alarm goes off, which apparently it's going off falsely in many occasions, let them walk back through the scanner. A couple of months ago, we had Director Pistol between, of the TSA before our committee, and we insisted that six-year-old girls are not a threat to this country and six-year-old boys, that if something shows up on the scan and it may be an error, let them walk back through the scan rather than giving invasive searches to young people. They've agreed to that. I think they now need to agree to do the same for adults as well. Who's to, who's to blame for this, sir? Is it the TSA workers or is it those setting policy? Because I'll confess to you and to our audience, I've had similar bad experience with the TSA. I had a situation once where I had a little halter top on with a jacket on over it. They wanted me to take the jacket off. I said, it's not the kind of thing you take off. It's part of the outfit. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. it was buttoned up in the front. It wasn't, you know, meant to show. And literally, the guy had me in tears by the end of the exchange. There, is it a power <laughs> trip of, the, of some TSA agents or is it their bosses? Well, you know, then, then we're, I think we're literally talking about fashion police at that point. But, uh, no, I think a lot of the rules are from the top down. They're here in Washington. The people, the TSA agents I've had to deal with mostly in Nashville have been nice and friendly, but they're stuck with rules that don't make any sense. We really should allow people to go back through the scanner other than having a pat down. But one thing I did discover yesterday is the scanner is going off, I think, sometimes because you're being selected for a random pat down and there was nothing wrong with the scan. I was told this by two TSA agents yesterday. They're now denying it publicly, but I think that the scanner is going off, er not erroneously, it's going off on purpose when it doesn't detect anything. And a good example of that is they finally let me walk back through the scanner yesterday and it didn't go off and I didn't change anything in my clothing. So really, I think they're using the scanner to try to get us to submit to random uh, pat-down checks. And I don't think it's making us safer because most of us are not terrorists. Let's do a little bit of a background check. And if you've been traveling to Yemen, you've been from Pakistan, you've been to Afghanistan, maybe you deserve a little more scrutiny, but most American yeah, travelers you know, Senator, need to go through. In defense of the TSA agents, the guy who bothered me and the folks who bothered you, uh, they're they're worried. They're worried about another 9-11. They're trying to keep us safe. They don't have time to run background checks on all the flyers. The fastest and easiest thing for them to do is put, put us through the scanner. And when somebody says, I don't want you to do the pat-down search, that raises all sorts of red flags. 
Well, the TSA makes that same complaint. They say it would take too much time, but I just differ. I beg to differ. Going back through the line, immediately stepping back in the scanner might take a couple of seconds, but the body search is taking uh, longer than that, and the loss of our dignity and privacy is something I don't think we have to give up to have security. I think by spending too much time on frequent business travelers, yourself, other people that travel for business, that we're taking time away from people who I do think we should spend time in advance examining who the passengers are on a plane. And if your travel history that is that you've been to Yemen twice in the last six months, or you've been traveling to Pakistan or other places in the Middle East, I think you deserve more scrutiny. But I don't think a six-year-old girl from Kentucky is a threat, nor do I think a businessman or woman who travels all the time, who's willing to give a background check, yeah. should have to go through this kind of, uh, uh, I think, invasion of privacy. Well, it's interesting because your dad, Ron Paul, uh, has been an outspoken yeah. critic of TSA. He introduced a, a bill called the American Traveler with Dignity Act uh, as, in response to invasive pat-downs. And uh, when they realized it was Senator Rand Paul, the, the, yeah. the son of the man who did that, they, they must have had a, a moment where they thought, this isn't going to end well. Uh, <laughs> Senator, thank you so much for being here. Glad you made it through. Thank you. And look, this is not to disrespect those hardworking TSA agents out there. I had a negative experience with one, but the vast majority have been great. But, you know, a lot of our viewers can relate to this and have had, uh, you know, overly aggressive TSA agents getting all up in your business. Uh, and that gets a little irritating. So we're taking your thoughts on it at Kelly at FoxNews.com. By the way, just to get an idea of how big the TSA is, the agency employs more than 58,000 people. More than 55,000 of those work in aviation security. Their total budget for 2011, 7.6 billion bucks. Number of senators held up this year? Only one that we're aware of.